Nice driving, fuckhead. Unbelievable. Dispatch medic one shows ten twenty three central Los Santos hospital. Ten four fourteen twenty five. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell all y'all this too. It's it's all of y'all. It's, it's the Eli Army. It's my people. The, the people up in the chat, any of the new folks, it's y'all. That's the reason why we got such a strong showing of police and medics that are, that are now coming to report for duty. They they wanna they wanna show y'all what they got. Show me what you got. They wanna show y'all what they got. They wanna show y'all that shit. Fourteen twenty six. But just so y'all know, thank you. Not it's not just me. Like I said, I'm not the one who deserves the credit. The fine citizens of Los Santos are enjoying a literal two hundred percent increase in emergency services uh, delivery because of why oh fucking you. It's y'all. Y'all bringing them out. Like I said, y'all, like I said, it's a new world order. Scumbags eat last. My people eat first. That's how we doing it from now on. Like I was saying, though, the pre-shucked pistachios, okay? It's like them old school movies where you see, like, a pharaoh, and, like, somebody comes in to, like, meet with him or something, and there's, like, an old boy with the fan. Then there's, like, somebody with, like, a bowl of grapes. Like, it's that, that's what it makes me feel like when I get, like, the pre-shucked pistachios. I'm just like, oh, shit. I ain't even got to worry about the shell. I could take, like, a handful of these sons of bitches, throw them in my mouth. That's what I feel like. So I don't buy them all the time, you know what I mean? I don't want to spoil myself. But, you know, you have a good day at the gym or something. It's like, you know what? I'm going to buy a sack of those king those king pistachios, pharaohs, pharaoh jumps. I'm going to pick that up. I don't care what the fuck it costs. Feeling alone. Treat yourself, Eli Army. You want some pre shuck nuts. Thought that lady was going to smash into our car. I was prepared to get mad. Like, pre-mad happened. I was prepared to get mad at that lady for hitting our car. She didn't, but I was prepared to fucking go off on that chick for hitting our car. Lucky for her. About to drop the fucking boom. Was about to drop the fucking boom. Alright, so we're cruising through District 3 a little bit. Uh, we'll see what we got going on. We didn't make much contact with Palato. Uh, we got the bolo on the blue-headed horse driving chick that uh, apparently ran from Langley earlier. So we put that in our bolo log. Uh, I don't have anybody in my patrol log matching that description. Female blue hair. Um, so I don't know who exactly we might be looking for name-wise, but uh, hopefully the blue hair will stay in the fuck out. Temple, uh, show you back in service, 1428. You know what I'm saying? It'll be like a reverse Lilu Dallas. Instead of the orange ass head, it'd be like a blue head running around. Shouldn't be hard to pick out of a fucking crowd. But then again, nobody's a nobody's a warden honorary. Don't get more real than that. Does not get more real than that shit right there. There you go. Does not get more real than that shit. You ever come across a down power line or a light pole and you've been like, how the fuck that happened? This fucking guy right here in his 1981 Toyota Corolla. That's how it happened. That's how it happened. He was checking his tweets. He had done been tweeted. He had done been tweeted. You need to check that shit. You need to check that shit. That's what that was. Somebody at mentioned his ass and he was like, oh, I cannot not reply to this. This shit is important. Shit is important. Fuck your light pole. Buy a new one. That's what he said. Don't worry. It's a rental. <laughs> no. You fucking son of a bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? What is going on right now? We knocked our fucking tail light out, too. You dickhole. Hope you fall down and bust all the teeth out of your fucking face. Asshole. I feel like, you know, the feeling you get, too, in, in the game, like, is when, when that happens to you, it's the same feeling you get, like, when you come out of the grocery store and you see a fresh dent in the driver's side of your door. And you're like, that shit was not there 
before I went inside to get a fresh fucking case and some skull. I know that shit wasn't there. And the son of a bitch is long gone. Ain't nobody parked around you. Because you know the guy that dinged you was like, oh shit, better get out of here before somebody who actually has a pair of balls shows up. You know, or whatever. Let's let, let's not even say balls because it could be a lady too. They don't know who's going to show up, but whoever it is is going to be about that life and is going to take, is going to snatch that soul. That's what's going to happen. They got to get, they got to scoot on out of there back to that little rat hole before you come out of the store. <coughs> That's the feeling, because you you know what happened. You can see the damage. But you can't do shit about it. That's that's the feeling. You know what I mean? That's what it, that's what it's like. And maybe that's for the best though, because if we could arrest and, and pull over and ticket NPCs and shit, we never get shit done. Yo, officer. Yo, Mr. Bigglesby. Thompson, I just got fucking shot at by Edward. By fucking Edward Wadsworth, man. No shit. I had to flee for my life. Is he chasing you? Yeah. Cause that'd be great. No, he was at the casino. He was in like oh. a taxi. It was fucking insane. Wadsworth is in the casino with the taxi, huh? Hold tight. Do me a yeah. favor, buddy. Turn around, put your hands behind your back, palms together. And don't start with the yes, gas and shit, sir, okay? No, it's all right, sir. Why? I'm gonna have somebody swing by, put a fucking, uh, put a knot on Mr. Wadsworth's head, snag his ass up. Any available unit from County Dispatch, available to respond to an attempt homicide, attempt aggravated robbery. It's going to be uh, Vinewood Park Drive. Nearest cross could be Mirror Park Boulevard at the casino area near the front entrance. Suspect name is going to be an Edward Wadsworth. Spelling of the first is going to be Common Edward. Spelling of the last is going to be William Adam David, Sam, William Ocean, Robert Tom Henry. Going to be a number two male, about 5'10", 160 pounds. Last seen wearing a gray suit jacket, white button-up shirt, gray slacks, bra black shoes, dark hair, slender build. Uh, going to be wanted in connection with uh, attempt homicide. Go direct with 309 and make contact with that subject. You need to handle identify and respond code 2. Boom, baby! Harold was there as well, but I, I he didn't shoot at me, I think. You, did, you said you shot at him as well? User was moved out no, I didn't shoot at him. I have a gun there, Mr. but Bigglesby, I did not shoot. Sir, that will be the last time. This is going to be the last time today. I remind you about the yes, sir, and the no, sir. Last time oh, today. Oh, yes, sir. Sorry. Okay, yes, I'm not going to do it again. In fact, I'm just going to keep a count in my head. Starting from this moment. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, now, sir. is there a reason you're in a stolen ass car, Mr. Evil. Bigglesby? It sounds like maybe you saw my Martin State home. Police vehicle, and you figured you'd make up some kind of a uh, story yes, here to justify why hey, you're you in a stolen ass car. Hey, you can see the bullet holes. Oh, can I see the bullet holes? see the bullet holes. I'm going to look for these bullet holes. Where are they at in the back? Boss, he won't I mean, kill you anyway. I mean, he licked me up with a pistol. It was insane. I don't see no bullet holes, but why does he want to? Was he trying to rob you? He he got out of his taxi while I was in motion, and he said, he said, stop right there, and I ran over him and I drove away. And he mm. opened fire on me. Did you, you ran over him? Like is he late? Is he prone the fuck out over there at the casino? Like he's down or he's no, just no, like, no? He opened fire on me as I drove away from him. Out of five, seven, okay, what were you doing up at the casino, sir? And we Not haven't Mirandized him. I stole that car. Yeah, we haven't Mirandized him, so I, I intend to give him a warning. We're going to emotionally abuse him, but I'm going to give him a warning if he's giving us an attempt homicide person. Okay? Okay, Mr. Bigelbys, what the fuck are you doing stealing cars, sir? You know what I'm saying? We're going to emotionally abuse him. No, uh, Thompson, you know, I... You better tack on a trooper sad. to that Thompson, son. I don't know where you think trooper you're at. Thompson. Trooper Thompson, <laughs> I've had a hard past oh, few days. Oh God damn it! Here come the sir. tears and shit. And nothing gets me more pissed off than the even gets me down. I'll tell you all that oh, right that, now. Oh, that's Ed, that's Edward right behind you. They're running away right now. Oh shit! You're right. There's a taxi cab over there too. Which way did he go? Like he was running to the delivery lot. He went down the stairs. Yeah, he went down the stairs right there. We'll go find him. We will talk about this stolen car in l at length, sir. We will indeed, sir. Especially the last few days, Mr. Bigglesby. Your criminal activity has really taken a sharp and concerning uptick, sir. I've had a lot of bad luck. You know what they say, uh, you know, be good at what you do or be good, you know. Be good or be good at it. I guess I just, yeah, yeah. I have heard that. I guess I'm just not good, you know. <laughs> Well, yeah, that would be the crime committing part. 
He's still yes, wearing sir. that tired ass uh, three piece gray suit he wears. I think it was like a, a yellow shirt. Oh no, a blue shirt and a uh, back, um, like an overcoat we're thing. Gonna be you know, like, uh, sweater vest. Ten four code four UTL. Going to be a standing bolo. That subject description. Timestamp on the bolo is going to be fourteen twenty one. Or excuse me, fourteen fourteen thirty one. Nowhere, nowhere can it be. We'll get the street sweeper ready, ready in case uh, old old Edward has decided for some reason to become un unbelievably violent. Uh, I was just saying if. Uh... Well, you all want to think maybe he went to go get another cab. He is a cab driver. That's what he normally does for so money. So, Trooper Thompson, how has your day been? I hope it's been very nice. So far, Mr. Bigglesby cannot complain, sir. We've been snapping necks and cashing checks. You're our first customer of the day. Damn right. I like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope you enjoy our police service. Temporary. I do. I'd love to support local businesses. You like to support local businesses? Do you need us? 10-4. Uh, I'm going to be in the area of Adams Apple and Alta Street. I have an outstanding male subject. Going to be a number two male, about 5'10", 160, 150 pounds, dressed in a uh, gray three-piece suit, maybe a yellow or blue button-up shirt, dark hair with a business comb over. He's going to be wanted in connection with an attempt homicide. Last seen fleeing on foot from the uh, Vespucci garage from a blue and yellow taxi cab. Suspect name is going to be Edward Wadsworth. Spelling of the first can be common Edward. Spelling of the last can be William Adam David. Sam, William Ocean, Robert, Tom Henry. 10-4. Everyone will be 10 to 10 solid copy. Time stamp's going to be 14 to 7. Oh, we got the whirly bird on it. Oh, I see him. Oh, hell yeah. Just a matter of time That's what I'd like to see, Trooper Just Thompson. Just a matter of time hell yeah. now, Mr. Bigglesby. <laughs> Do you remember what kind of gun he had, sir? Any other details you might be able to give me on that? Because you know he's going to fight that shit. Well, he was just shit. a pistol, yeah. And Harold was with him? You know who Harold is, right? Yes, I do, Mr. Thompson. Harold Wilson. Yes, sir. I don't believe he opened fire on me, though. You can't say for sure, though? Did he have a gun as well, Mr. Wilson? Harold... I only saw Harold inside the taxi. I don't believe he got out of it. Okay. And you're, sh you're for sure, though, it's it was Edward? Hand -hand Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. Yeah, I know. How, are, how are you sure that it I was Edward? Like. I mean, you, you sounded like Edward. I, I was close to him. Yes, he did. So, Edward has a real fucking thick British accent. Um, not as thick as, like, Peter's. Okay, solid copy. Not as thick as Peter's, but he's definitely uh, a British fellow. You, you would m not mistake his voice. He has a unique sound. Um, the fuck is that? The fuck was yeah, that? Yeah, it wasn't long ago. Trooper Thompson had me and Harold were good friends. That times change. Hello, gentlemen. What's happening? Hello, Mr. Ross. Hello. How are you doing, sir? Hey there, boys. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing very well. Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, Mr. Gibbons. Hello. How's the taco business going, oh. sir? Oh, hey, Reg. What had a businessman hey because Peter? someone Jerry left Cole. a one-star review on that <laughs> shit. What? And uh, just been texting went out of you, business. Red. What? That's fucked up, man. Yeah, man. I thought you were yeah, doing good. Yeah, because he said I was... Well, he said I was force-feeding him and shit, man. You know, and he didn't like that. So, you know, whatever. I think so I still owed you uh, some money for them tacos that I bought before. So I slid you some over. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. That'll help out, man. You hey, know, you boys, trying to get my rap game. You stay out of... Oh, you're getting your rap game up? Oh, shit, man. I'm trying to get... A record deal, trying to you know, you know, do all sorts of cool shit. Uh, can I just ask real, real quick, what's uh, what's Reggie doing in the back seat, man? What's yeah, was that man? Reggie was, was in a Jerry stolen Kirk. vehicle, uh, doing yeah, some in car guys. Shit. So yeah. the odds of Reggie going to prison, e seventy one percent. What about you boys? You've been yeah, up to I'm, shit. Those are pretty I, good. I, I, odds. Why you didn't meet us at the casino, Reggie? <laughs> I've been a very bad yeah, person, Peter, and seen, I really uh, have you seen regret. Uh, apparently he was shooting at Reggie up at the casino, but I have not seen hotter hair of him. And you know how he tools around. Yeah, I did taxi? see him in a taxi. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he fled the taxi uh, on foot. What was his name? Harold? Him and Harold? Yeah, 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 yeah. Them two boys. Where'd you see him at? Uh, I'll, I'll get him for you when I find him. Okay, don't I'll, uh, fucking get him. Put them against the floor. Don't put my foot on the no, back. No, no, <laughs> Peter, no, Peter, get him. Wink, wink. No, wink, wink. Mr. Bigglesby, yeah. do not. Peter, do not do that shit. If you see him, you call me on the phone or send me a text. Alright? Uh, maybe. 
Well, I'll then, think then, about then, it, sir. If you get them, the next person I'm going to be getting after I get them is going to be Y-O fucking you, sir. Okay? Don't you get them. You call me on the fucking phone, <laughs> I'll slide you the money because we got a bolo out for those boys, all right? Watch your back. All right, that sounds good. We get, we're gonna get some money, Sean. Let's get a get a be taxi, good, man. Be good, Peter. Right, be good now. Be good, Patsy. Okay, good. good luck, Always man. Good. good luck. Yeah, so we gotta be careful. Make sure They're he knows. Good boys. Yeah. Nah. Good the, boys. Well, the one guy maybe. Peter's definitely not a good boy. Excuse me, miss. After you. Peter's definitely not good in any sense of the word. Oh uh, wow, she's giving you some lip. Look at that. She's turning oh, around. Shit. I don't know. I was thinking maybe maybe she caught the reflection of those tropical booty shorts you wear in the window. And I had one the unit interest. behind that. Uh, I wouldn't mind. I pique a lot of uh, people's interest. I feel lately, Trooper Thompson. A lot of people indeed. Well, let's conduct a stop on him. People are trying to kill me, arrest me, and everything in between. Yep. I hear it. It's rough, man. We're living a criminal lifestyle, sir. Traffic innocent, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. Tempo 14. Gonna be yeah, a people have been telling me lately a lot of Trooper Thompson that I'm uh, clinically insane. India, I mean, nine, what do you think about nine, that? Five. I tell them more uh, that's like not true. I mean, I don't know though, but I do figure that people that are insane don't fucking know they're insane. It's rare to find somebody that's insane that goes, I'm insane. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought like, well, definitely not insane. Part of the criteria though is that they don't know that. Occupies two times. Yeah, I'm totally not insane. FYI. Shit. Everyone's gonna be overhead. Okay, uh, do you want to tell me why you're driving around at all? Three nine nine direct. Gonna, gonna have a registration come back to an Edward Wadsworth. Ten twenty is gonna be at it. the Cloven store in Innocent. Ten four. Ten four three zero nine is gonna be in route. Now you keep quiet back there, Mr. Biggles. I don't want to hear you till I talk uh, to you, sir. Let me catch up to a vehicle heading North Paul Blair Street. Description. You hear me? Yes, sir. Heading east forward way. The uh, dark and color four door uh, sedan by the looks of it. And especially when I was 23. Ooh, 17. I'm 10 lost eyes. Mr. Wadsworth. Good day, just a high done. They do anything, we're gonna cross you can listen to our commands very carefully and step the out of the vehicle, face Pop the inside of your door and place your hands on your head. <laughs> Is that Mr. Wilson okay. there as well? You need to remain in the car. Hold on, I can't hear you. Once we Even clear better. off of this, then I'll uh, so talk yeah, to you. The street sweeper I, I can hear them talking down the on the reaper. ground. There. Hop out of there, Mr. Wilson. You come over here, sir. Put some state-issued jewelry on your wrists. Dispatch out of 10 traffic. Out of All right, hang tight. Turn around, put your hands behind your back, palms together. Coming out with a black and color salt I'm going to be uh, lost in this freeway and on ramp just Jeez. from Vinewood Park Drive. So it's going to be Echo Foxtrot Oscar 153. Trooper, I'll let you interrogate him. We'll you I'll deal with Mr. Wilson. Frank Ocean 153. Edward Frank Ocean 153. Timestamp's going to be 1443. All right, solid copy. Let me stow this good way. Go for 309. We okay to 10 8. 10 4, I appreciate the help, boys. Nice job. Ran him the fuck down. Dispatch on panel crushing digital. Put some come back down on file. Any available unit uh, to respond to an officer needs an assistance call. Um, going to be a uh, traffic stop on a vehicle plate. going to be Edward Frank Ocean 153. Go directly to Adam 10. Break, he's taking off of me. Mr. Wadsworth, you can break. You can break. You can break. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it, Dokes. Mr. Wadsworth, right. you've been busy today, sir. Zero uh, eighteen hundred traffic uh, Yeah, I guess. I'm free pulling up. Mr. Wadsworth, How you today, sir? do not let me have to go back into the yes sir and the no sir. I'm at work. No, I'm no, here I delivering it, I police service, and I'm about to smear it all over you. Now, you want to tell me about the events of the last ten minutes or so, sir? What you've been up to? Got a gun. Um, Langley on the radio. Yeah. Where? Where are you, Langley? I, uh, Location. I was, uh, collecting someone from the casino. The, uh, 
Mr. Wadsworth, you were playing right. games with me, sir? Is that what you want to do? You were collecting someone from the casino? Do you think that I'm out here with the crowd please in my hand, stopping you because I chose you at random, sir? I was like, I'm going to find the most fucked up looking truck with the most trash on the back and stop whoever's driving it and jam them. Does that sound like me? No, sir. You were stopped here for a fucking reason. Now I want specifics, goddammit. You give me an uh, overview of your last 10 minutes now, and then maybe I'll decide not to interrogate that ass. Okay. Well, I uh, went to pick up Harold over there from the casino. All right. Hold on. I see all the... Too loud, too loud. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're almost at the road now. That's just Langley, though, y'all. That's just... That's how I'm on the 323 continuum. That's how that she road. does it. All right. I run the Nora uh, Road now. I wanted to have a conversation with him. Is that better? Is that better? Alright. Um, so I, I may have pointed a firearm at him, asked him to get out of the car. Who was it? Who was it? And he tried to run me over. Who was it? Uh, Reggie. Bigglesby. The fuck are you thinking? Oh, shit, man. Oh, what the fuck are you finding, sir? He's gonna be no friends to no road. Where is that money, man? We brought it to you, Mr. Taxi. We told him to come here, man. All right, roger that. I'll transfer it over to you, Mr. Boot. It's gonna be a felony arrest, so I'll pay 10k on that. Appreciate the tip, bud. Of course, of course. No problem. Anytime, you know. 167% rehabilitated now. That's good, that's good. Mr. Wadsworth, you know better than that shit, sir. You know better than that. Mm -hmm. You cannot. Don't yeah, you fucking move me better. either. You're gonna get me upset. Sir, sir, you are not I'm supposed to be out here doing John Wayne type shit on the fucking street, sir. Not at all. You call the fucking police. You get on the phone. You call daddy. You have a problem. I'll come and fix it. You pull a pistol and start going to work. You become as bad as them. You understand that? You're under arrest for attempt homicide and assault with a deadly fucking weapon. Do you get that? Yep. Mr. Wadsworth, I'm daring you, sir. Yeah. I am daring you. It's going to be uh, just off the road on Sonora Road. Last you do that again, and I'll the max you the fuck out, bury you under the goddamn jail. Not for the petrol station above Bay Street. Yeah. Yes, sir, sir. <laughs> you hear him do it again? <laughs> he was nervous, so he did it immediately again. After, after I said I'd bury him under the jail, he I'm immediately did the shit again. <laughs> He immediately did that shit again, then he was like, oh, God. Oh, no. Disregard that last one. Tomorrow. All right, so we're going to use a technique called disinformation to determine if uh, if we're getting the truth on the Knew we'd get him. Knew we'd get him last. See, this is what we should do. We should uh, con... All right, now, Mr. I'm Wilson. Go ahead. Could you go back and... Yeah, the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one to be appointed to you at no cost by the state. You can have this attorney present while you're being questioned. You can invoke these rights at any point in time. Hey, you I understand these rights? I've them to you, sir. Uh, yes, I do, sir. Okay, well, Mr. Wadsworth over there telling me that you went all Doc Holliday up at the casino, pulled your pistol, started going to work trying to kill Mr. Bigglesby. I got no fucking reason not to believe him, sir. So you better give me an accurate fucking account of what happened at that casino or I'm going to charge your goofy bespectacled ass and boot you all the way to state fucking prison on a fucking bullet, boy. So you better send it. You better be fucking oh, descriptive. Otherwise, your ass is going to go up there for a long fucking time. Make no mistake. Going to be in the 100 month club, boy. Going to make you a special spot up there. Harold's place. And put a pacifier and a little baby blanket there for you. <laughs> oh, God. So we're using uh, disinformation. Sir, I, I, I'm going to say to you very um, quietly, okay? Yeah, I'm talking with my inside voice, Harold. I don't, I don't want him to we're using me. disinformation here to put him All right, under stress. Well, honestly, to see if sir, we're getting the truth or not. I, I was in Mr. Uh, Wadsworth's taxi today. I, I had no idea what was happening. He was driving around. There was chat on the radio. I mean, what what we told him is uh, next thing I know, we're, him, we're at the casino. We can use uh, he's driving around. Uh, he pulls into the cop the parking lot. And I see, uh, you know, he, he, I see a vehicle there driving in the lot. Mr. Wadsworth here exits his vehicle and pulls out a fire What the car looked like that you point. saw? What the car looked like that you saw? So we're not going to let him go too far. Car that um, I saw, it was like... We're not going to let him go too far with the story before we interrupt his ass. Uh, we don't want him to get comfortable. Okay, that's important that we don't, that we don't want him to get comfortable. If he gets comfortable, then he'll he'll lull into a story that he's already thought of in his mind. We have to keep the stress level high. I want you to describe in fucking detail, sir, 
that vehicle that you saw that you and Mr. Wad were keyed in on when it pulled in. I want to know where it pulled in at. I want to know what it looked like. I want to know how you know it was Mr. Bigglesby driving. I want to know right now. Okay. I, I did not know it was Mr. Bigglesby driving until he uh, spoke, sir. I, I had no idea what was happening. Okay, at I what point did you decide to pull your pistol out and go to work? Can I get a unit out? I did not pull out my pistol, bank. sir. I, I, didn't, I had no idea what was happening. I was sitting in the Then why is he fucking saying you did? Time. It doesn't make any no sense. Idea, sir. Why would he say you did that? Somebody pulled their pistol out with the work. I saw the bullet holes. Mr. Wadsworth here pulled out his pistol Bingo. Got him. and pointed it at uh, Reginald. Got him. And Reginald That's got, a Miranda statement. You know, he he, he That's backed good to go. into Mr. Wadsworth here, knocking him you know, on the ground. Now we have one, two, three Mr. witness Wadsworth statements putting him fired. as the shooter. Uh, as and him uh, firing Reg on Mr. Reginald on saying that oh, it was the, right, just the operation all I know, of the vehicle. Sir. They're saying he backed into it now. All right, Mr. Wilson, that story better be the truth, sir. You were going to fucking hang. You understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you sit right there. Okay, good. So that was a really good, that was a really, really good interrogation, okay? We got him to the stress level that we wanted. We got him there quick. Um, and then he implicated the same guy. We have two other statements implicated, including this other guy's statement. But we did not Mirandize him. If you remember, we asked him just for a brief summation. And he incriminated himself. Eh, fine line. Fine, fine line with judicial, uh, with like a judge, they might they might say that that was an unmirandized interrogation just because he did make self-incriminating statements. Mm, we, so we won't use his statement, but we do have the other two statements dead to rights, plus his, uh, you know, the information we know, we just can't use it in court, okay? So we're good to go on that. Mr. Wadsworth, sir? Yes, sir. Now, you know the right thing to do, sir, is to get on the phone. You call 911, somebody starts that kind of gunplay. You flee in the scene with Mr. Wilson, and that other bullshit has put you way into the wrong, sir. You were way in the red. You get that? Yeah, I know that, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Yeah, you know. Okay, next time you get on the phone, you call 911. Okay? I'll come down there and fucking deal with it. At this point, sir, you're under arrest for public display of a firearm, assault with a deadly weapon, attempt homicide, fleeing and eluding. You understand? Yes, sir. Now you sit tight here. Dispatch 148, redirecting the police. Over now, right here. now, you boys are on my good side, having given me a tip, turned in Mr. Wadsworth here, who decided for some fucking reason to take to try to become a fucking murderer. If I find you guys are over here doing la 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 lean boys or some other bullshit, taunting him, I'll run you the fuck in on disorderly conduct charges. Now, do you want $10,000 or do you want disorderly conduct charges? Your choice. Ah, uh, take take care, sounds for good. Sure. Okay, so take your, on, take your asses on down the sidewalk and la 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 lean against the wall. Wait till I come over there and fucking get you, goddammit. <laughs> You'll be leading, sir. <laughs> lean boys! <laughs> What the fuck lean is boy. lean? Fucking lean boy. What the fuck is lean boy? The fuck is that? That's what we are, man. What do you mean that's what you are, man? Ah, what the fuck well, is that? We're the most Mr. Big, leanest motherfuckers in town. What, you a fucking gang or some shit? So we're gonna exercise Straight officer discretion. Fucking gangsters, I do this bro. a lot. If it's my first customer. Oh, day, yeah, you got a gang called the lean boys? What the fuck Hold is on. that? <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Sorry, y'all. If it's my first customer of the day, like it was with Mr. Bigglesby, mm, I'm more likely to be lenient. I'm more likely to be lenient with that kind of shit. Uh, plus, he was in a stolen vehicle. Was he fleeing for his life? Probably. Was he acting like a dick? Probably. But acting like a dick ain't a crime yet. Now, pulling a pistol out, trying to go to work, shoot somebody in the face because you don't like the way they're driving, that shit is a fucking crime. You cannot do that shit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to verbally abuse Reginald. Okay? So we'll leave a lasting impression of this encounter for the rest of the shift at the very least. We're going to cut him loose with a verbal warning on the, uh... 1454. See, this is y'all's fault. This is y'all's fault. Because they want they want to show y'all how good they are, so the radio traffic is up 9,000%. Can't hear shit. Uh, so anyway, we are going to leave a, a lasting emotional scar on Mr. Bigglesby here. For stealing the car, uh, but we're gonna cut him loose. Okay, uh, that's gonna be our discretion. We catch him again, though. We're gonna hammer his ass flat. We'll go with the felony charges that we got. Mr. Bigglesby, sir. Yes, sir. 
Now I'm going to give you a stern verbal warning on two things, sir. Driving on the fucking suspended and that stolen fucking vehicle. You understand me? If I catch you I do, sir. operating a vehicle, sir, or heaven help you in another fucking stolen car this shift, Mr. Bigglesby, I am going to fuck you up. Do you understand that? I'm going to put my foot do, so sir. far up your ass, Mr. Bigglesby, there are going to be size 12 boot mark footprints on the inside of your fucking lower intestine, sir. That's how far up your ass my foot will be if I catch yes, you sir. doing that shit it's again. This shift, you will be maxed the fuck out, and I'll bury you up at the state prison. You get me? Yes, sir. Now dis a fucking pier, Chris I get Angel. You, sir. Get the fuck out of here, David Copperfield. Yes, I do sir. not want to see you. Don't go over there by them either. Okay, good shit. Now, crossing a crosswalk. Yes, sir. You're making me rethink my decision not to take you to jail. Okay. I'll take the knife and do me then just the make medium it sink it through your hand. All right, we're gonna cut loose Poindexter over here. Ah, oh, that was pretty good, man. We're gonna snag up Mr. Wadsworth. Thanks, man. You know, Mr. Wilson, do you feel comfortable operating Mr. Wadsworth's vehicle if he gives you permission to do so, sir, so we can uh, avoid a tow here? Yes, sir. I, I, I w w should I you pack it somewhere? Wrapping once in prison and then it goes so well, you know. So that's some pretty good uh, shit. Yeah, let's come over here. Get it. If we can get his permission for you to operate his vehicle, we'll skip the tow then. Yeah. I I think me and you had a good chance, Lang. I mean, Mr. Sam Wadsworth. is holding us back, though, right? Yes, sir. All right, do you give Mr. Wilson permission to operate your vehicle, sir, so we can skip the tow? Yeah, absolutely. Don't say yeah to no me, problem. Mr. Wadsworth. God damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry. Gotta keep that up. Gotta keep the stress level high, y'all. Manage the stress level. Managing the stress level. <coughs> Managing the stress level. That's what we're doing. All right, Mr. Lean Wilson, boys, get on out of here. Up the streets again. The clean boys, lean boys, the clean boys. Fuck yeah, man. Lean boys. All right. <laughs> I That's how smart I, I fuck Don't get it wrong, H, man. Don't get it twisted. Hey, man, I don't <laughs> twist no he can, like, shit, man. Okay, I he can, get like, it. Play every instrument ever invented. Like if you could, if you could think of an instrument that's like fucked up and don't nobody play. Like, do you play spoons? He'd be like, <laughs> I have a washboard oh, and spoons that, right here. Click it, click it, click Like doing the fucking whole thing, dude. No, I mean, we'll be there talent. soon enough, you know. Unbelievable talent. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. All right, boys, I'm going to head over to the bank. I'll wire you the money. Who should I send it to, Buddha or uh, Mr. Ross? Uh, send it to me, you know. All right, roger that. Max I'll send it over to you. Thanks for making us sweat, okay? What'd you just say? Ah, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. On, have a good day. <laughs> you know what? Why don't we check you motherfuckers for warrants? How about that? You want to cop an attitude, Mr. Buddha? That's fine, sir. Oh, Let's see if you go got ahead, any outstanding go ahead, warrants. You son of a bitch. Rehabilitated, motherfucker. Oh do yeah, it, call me it. motherfucker again. Call me motherfucker again. I will. I will splay you out like a rug, and I'll tap dance all over your fucking ass. Call me. Call me motherfucker again. Oh. I dare you. See, you got to keep the stress level high. He's good. Nope, you're good to go. I'll send the movie, uh, the money over to you, Mr. Boot. I appreciate the tip, boys. Y'all stay out of trouble now. Lean boys! La 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 lean! Lean boys! <laughs> yeah, with the lean boy shit. Well, you guys have a fucking don't like, tell him, Don't y'all tell shit. him that that shit makes me laugh. Hello, don't y'all tell him that. If you tell him that, it'll be la 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 fucking lean boys all the fucking time. We'll never get Did shit done. Did you just done. say I piss him off? I'm we'll just never trying get to question shit what the fuck you behind me. I never if he finds out, I'll know it was y'all. I'll know it was y'all. Like I'll know it was y'all. I don't, don't fucking, you fucking know. Tell him. I can lengthen your penis. I can. I know I can trust the Eli Army. I, some of, says I can lengthen your. Some penis. of the unknowns I'm not in this. Fucking business. high, man. I don't just you got tell him that shit. All? That will throw a hell of a wrench into the fucking police work. Him, la 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 la, lean boy, and all the fucking time. Get, won't be able to even just get his name off. Harold. Like, what's your name, monkey mask? La 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 la, lean boy, motherfucker. Like, it would be a nightmare. All you'll be doing is buying him additional fucking prison time. That's it. I'm going to turn the mic up a little bit. I don't want to hear y'all crowing and bitching and whining then once the yelling starts. We ain't yelled at nobody yet, really. It's true. Well, Mr. Wadsworth, a little bit. <laughs> but I don't want to see that fucking asshole with the, the hands over the ears and shit once the yelling gets going. You know what you signed up for. You're lucky I'm even responding at all. <clears throat> Now, I do feel a little bit bad uh, about reining Mr. Wadsworth in. I mean, 
Wadsworth, he doesn't have a violent history, which is why this is so weird to me. I think that what more likely occurred, chat, to be fair, is uh, there was probably something that occurred before this casino nonsense between him and Reggie or whatever the fuck else. The fact that they're in that area alone is very odd to me. Um, but Wadsworth does not have a violent history or a violent flag. I think the most he ever got hemmed up for was driving on a fucking suspended. So going from driving on a fucking suspended to attempt homicide is a pretty big hell of it's a, it's a big fucking jump. Makes me think that there was something else that may happen before that, like maybe they were running dope together or some other shit. Maybe maybe Bigglesby fucked him, or maybe he fucked over Wilson, one of these other two, um, and then they were up there at the casino to have a little get back uh, or something like that. But they they left those details out. It's not our concern. Our concern was the the flag down at the garage, the report of the attempt homicide. And that is going to be a case fucking closed, boy, with one in custody. County Dispatch 309. Show me 1076 to Mission Road Sallyport. One subject to 95. So that's good shit. Add that motherfucking shit to the tally. Three felony charges on his ass. Which was also part of the reason why we cut uh, Bigglesby loose. Dispatch um, traffic. It's going to be a white Sultan in the pillbox of the Fuji garage. 10-4, simply when ready. Stand by. I think it's going to be occupied full time. So I got an additional. 10 4. Any additional unit available to respond to an officer needs assistance? Call Vespucci Garage at located Vespucci Boulevard and Peaceful Street. Respond, identify, respond code 2. All right, Mr. Wadsworth, we here. Yes, sir. Dispatch, are you ready for plate? Send it. Foxtrot Yankee Hotel, 665. 10-4, hold you out with Frank Young Henry, 665. Frank Young Henry, 665. Time seems to be 1501. So, uh, you want to tell me what happened before this to uh, make you want to shoot at uh, old Reginald? You guys running dope together or something? What y'all doing up at the casino? No, what are you doing up at the casino, Edward? It's not your usual digs. No, sir. No, I, uh, I was... Uh, having a look around. You're having a look around, huh? I ain't gonna charge you with it, Edward. I'm just thinking to myself, you don't have a history of violence. So taking a jump from where your your most serious arrest was driving on suspended to attempt homicide seems like a hell of a journey. What happened? Did you did you buy all the seasons of Gangland? You watch it last night, get yourself all worked into a fucking tizzy? Come out here and figure you're gonna go out, jerk, jerk your pistol, start going to work, sir? No, sir, it's uh, mostly frustration built up from uh, being treated like shit. Who's treating you Verbal like shit? Abuse. I mean, obviously now, well, me, but, you know, that's because you're well, a criminal now, you know? That's kind of what you sign up for. Yeah, this is... Yeah, hey, it comes with the territory. But no, uh... Um, I'll, uh... We will talk at a later time. I'll tell you what, though, Edward, you do not have a history of this bullshit, so I'm going to shave the time and reduce the fine. Plus, you were honest, all right? It's the best I can do. It, it was because of a... The, I can't remember. It was a reported. Roger that. that didn't have to buy pizza. No, I remember that. I responded to that call. I charged them boys. We caught them for that. Sent them to the booty house on it. Yeah. It takes a lot for me. Frustration builds up. Do me a favor, Mr. Wadsworth. Do you have a pen or anything? Something yes, near sir. you? Uh, yes, sir. I, if you've given me your number, I already have it. No, I'm, I'm going to give you a note real quick. You Just let me know when you're ready to copy. Go for it, sir. All right, ready? S. I. R. You got it? <laughs> yes, sir. Now, you put that in a spot where you can fucking see it. Don't you leave it off of a yes or a no again, all right? It pisses me the fuck off. Now, like I said, I'm going to reduce the fine, lower the time, buddy, because this ain't like you. You got anything sharp on you going to stick me or poke me? Like ninja stars, razor blades, uncapped needles, anything unclean? None of the above, sir. Roger that, sir. Appreciate that. Let's see what you got. Oh, almost fresh out of donuts. Might mean to make a donut run, although you got 61, jerk. You'd be all right. $405. I like, I like the meat. Meat. Carnivore. There you go. Well, good news is, Mr. Wadsworth, good news and bad news, right? Bad news is you're headed to prison. Good, mo good news is all the meat you can handle. <laughs> what's, what's the special today, sir? I believe it's tube steak, uh, but I'm not certain. I have not checked the menu. I'm going to get you on your way, though, Mr. Wadsworth. All right, don't you fuck around again. You call the police. I appreciate that. 
Absolutely. So. All right, we could max him out and really fuck him on this. You have been for like sixty months. We're not going to do that shit. Like I said, he doesn't have a history of violent priors. We're going to lower that shit to uh, to twenty months. We'll shave it off, and he was honest. Oh, great. Hey, why? Well, I better hurry it up. Yeah, yeah, just give me like 10 seconds. I have to wipe my ass. Ah, there we go. Right. No. Nope. Alright, Mr. Wadsworth, you have a good basically. rest of the day, sir. Hopefully, you enjoy my police service. County oh, Dispatch yeah. 309 requests an immediate 1091 transport to Bolingbrook State Prison so for number two mayor. I'm going to be giving you a ticket for worthless driving to be a $3,000 ticket. Gray, gray vest, gray slacks, blue button up. Mission Row yes. Cell 1. Later on, dude. Put it in the books. Put it in the books. Three felony charges, one yeah, fresh off to yeah, the yeah, booty house, boy. We're off to a good fucking start. We're off to a good fucking start. Use the rest of your channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I seen it. You're right. Let's go deal with that shit. Somebody in the chat watching the 311 calls is they're right. You know, we'll, we'll do that too. You know why we're a jack of all trades, chat. That's why we're a jack of all fucking trades. Homicide investigation, we got that shit. Self turning in. Hello, Miss oh, Webb. How are you, madam? Do you see how fast I was? I was at I was at breakneck fucking speed, girl. Trying to get up here so you can turn your ass in. That's how. That's how yes, uh, fucking Ricky Tick. We were on our way up here to get that fucking confession. Now, before you say anything, girl, hold it on. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state at no charge. You have the right to invoke these rights at any time. Do you understand these rights? I've read them to you, ma'am. No, sir, you read them too fast for me. Okay, well, let me give you a card, smartass. There you go. You can read at your leisure. It's at uh, the gas station. Hope you don't mind. I'm just going to place you in cuffs right quick. Detention. My safety and yours. Boom. Got it. Now send it. What do you got? What you been up to, Miss Webb? 10 4 on scene. Blue hair. Y'all see that? Sorry. See the blue a, ass hair? Um, well, Found sir, our girl I, uh, in the Porsche. I shot a man in self defense at the casino. Mm hmm. Dollars to donuts. She was running dope in that Porsche. After he attempted to rob Blue ass hair. I don't know if you remember. Finished the dope runs, went to the casino to get the shit laundered, and then Ross. ended up with some gunplay. You came and saved me. Okay, so you were up at the casino, and then someone tried to rob you, and Peter Ross came and saved you. What did the robber look like? Full of the shit. The robber looked like Peter Ross. He was wearing white with gold chains. What did he sound like? Let's Peter see if we Ross. Can't, let's see if we can't trick her into doing a Peter impression. Yeah, but what do you mean, like... Sounded oh he sounded like Peter Ross. That's a name. I need something yeah. to, for the notes here. What did he sound like? Do you can you do can you imitate the voice perhaps? Like a pussy. So like a big okay. So hold on. That's for y'all chat. Okay, I wrote that down. Uh, sound like a pussy. That's gonna be Paul Union, Sam, Sam Young. Roger that. Okay, and then uh, so Mr. Mr. Ross got out. He had a firearm on him. Uh, took, yes, did he sir. actually succeed in taking your money, or were you able to get in your Porsche and get away? Watch her. She says yes, we got her. No, sir. I was able to shoot him in self-defense. Ah, didn't down. challenge the Porsche. Yeah. This is our girl. Okay, so you, you shot Peter. Did did he actually go down, or did you just shoot at him, it hit him, and then you and then you were able to escape? He went down, sir. He did go down? User okay. joined your channel. Any, any unit this net from 309 Direct, do we have anyone who responded to a medical call, reference a gunshot wound um, at the casino? The victim's going to be a, a Ross Peter. Spelling of the last going to be Robert Ocean Sam Sam. Spelling of the first going to be Common Peter. Adam Tim. Tim, when you got there, what did what did uh, Mr. Ross say happened? Here. Hey, I saw the whole thing. Ooh, I got bye. in the middle of the act. Oh. So, hi. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, what happened, Lady? Yeah. She she was robbing two people at the at the uh, ca casino. And she fled in her black comet. Okay, so she, so Miss Webb then was the actual robber, yep. and then she fled in a black Porsche. Jesus. Yep. I hopped out of my car, told everyone to stop. I told everyone to put your hands up, and she's like, "Okay, okay, I'll do it." And then she hops in the car and takes off. Holy I, someone shit! Someone else, some other 
angry biker chick turns and starts shooting at her. Oh, so no. I had to put her down. You hear this, Miss Webb? And she got away. Yeah, you hear this that? This sounds like so much different than what you had said. This is a different yeah, I'm gonna go story. My guy. I, uh... it's two stories. Okay, two different points in time is what you're trying to say. It's a different occurrence is what she's describing. This other thing that you said mm. occurred as well, or is what you're saying absolute, complete, and utter bullshit, and that sounds a little bit more like the truth. I will be very careful with the next words that come out of my mouth, Miss Webb. Okay, I know more than you think, madam. I take my time, I take my notes, and I do the police work. If you think I wasn't looking for your blue-haired ass in that fucking Porsche, you are wrong. 100 fucking percent. I've been looking at I've been looking for you since that shit came out at 2:18 p.m., madam. Okay? So the next words coming out of your mouth better be the truth or I'm going to hammer you fucking flat. The next time I see you will not be for a good long fucking time, Miss Webb. You picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. Yes, sir. Now you better send it and it better be the truth, miss, not any bullshit. I understand in your mind right now you're thinking to yourself, he doesn't know that much. I can do this. All I have to do is roll these dice and then I'll walk out of here free as a bird. You're in handcuffs for a reason. At least you made a smart choice to turn yourself in. Probably saved you about a hundred fucking months. Now you spout off right now, yes, girl. Sir. You tell me the truth. Otherwise, I will begin the police the work and once is. that starts, it's over. You like that chat? No, sir. No need for that. The fuck yeah, is. birds walk. I Who's saying birds don't walk? You ain't never see a bird walk? Camp. What the fuck you think? I they went there. Just hop along right. on the tip of their beak? Come on, man. I rolled up. I was going to park the vehicle. And when I stepped out of the vehicle, two people Step rolled up. Okay, okay. I'm in a white car. Looked center. like a buffalo. One for a potential Not a buffalo as yeah. in a buffalo, but a buffalo as in a car. Like a, like a bravando buffalo. Roger that. Okay. Like a bigger cow. I know what a buffalo is. Like they get, they're a lot like hairier. A bigger they're cow. bigger. Yeah. Two so horns. Right. Yeah. White. Solid copy. The, the majestic wheels. beast of the play. They of the rolled plains. up. Yep. And immediately I heard Peter Ross speak. I truly felt and feared for my life. I did pull a gun this and I did girl. tell him to put his hands up and don't fucking do anything. You hear what After you did? he said the words, she's smart. Uh, something along the she's lines smart. of like, something about money. Then he went and ducked oh, behind his car fuck? and ran for oh. I, I, what I assumed to be a gun and she's reached smart. for one. That is when ah. I shot him. I didn't harm nor touch. Why a did you not stop? Person. Why did you not stop when you saw this officer here and she gave you the command to stop your vehicle? If you were the victim, why would you not stop? At that point, you were safe. Is that a stolen vehicle, ma'am? I, I have. Because I know I and you know that you don't own a Porsche. If that's a stolen vehicle and you make me go and look for it, madam, and rest assured, I fucking will. And I find that car, I will charge the shit out of you, and I'll also charge you for obstruction if I find it. Do not make me go and look for that car, Miss Webb. Is that a fucking stolen that you were driving, madam? You and I both know you don't own a Porsche. Ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is a stolen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is a stolen vehicle. Yes, sir. I'm thinking very ca cautiously and carefully. I'm writing down the answer. Well, you don't have time to think up a lie, madam. I want the answer and I want it now. No, sir. Is that a fucking a stolen lie. car? Is that a stolen car? It was a stolen car, sir. You're goddamn right it was. Thank you, madam. I didn't. I did not want to be caught with a stolen car. Okay, so uh, she, the, the sound of Peter's voice alone sent her into some kind of a frenzy, fearing I've for her own life. I've been robbed from in the past. It's, this robbed is in you the past. You responded to the call yourself, yes, twice now. Although, to be fair, Miss Webb, that second one was you trying to rob him as get back. I just never came back and charged you. So let's not start lopping those in together, okay? Like I said, I'm smarter than you think. Okay, um... The person he was in the company with, was that Mr. Higgins? Got a giant-ass red, afro, blue jersey? Or was it Mr. Lang Buddha with monkey mask Lang Buddha? You know, what's up, motherfucker? You know, Lang Buddha. Hello? I'm sorry, sir. I you were asking the officer next to you. Houston, I have Houston, no uh, Houston to Miss Webb. Miss Webb, are you receiving? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, sir. Solid Absolutely. copy. No, uh, no, Miss Webb, the two I, fucking people, when you were in afraid for your life, okay, so the, the fight or flight instinct has kicked in. Your adrenaline levels have surged 
because your body's responding to that. Your neurons are firing super fast. What the fuck did they look like? Is that more? Is that I, better? The, the other one had a green shirt and an orange froey kind of hair. I knew it. Uh, and Peter Carrot Ross kind of looked like a... I guess, I don't know. Um, it wasn't Carrot Top. He lives in Las Vegas. Like, we talked about that or yesterday. Or perhaps a mangina. <laughs> a bitch, so like a female dog? Or are we talking yeah, like a bitch, like, like hold your pocket, like follow me around, Can bitch. Like, me? why ain't this shit made? Hold your, hold your pocket. Jail. Definitely Roger. a hold your pocket kind of guy. Solid copy. Are you familiar? Yeah, so he was cowering like a bitch, and that's what made you fear for your life? Because I'm having trouble believing if he's such a big flapping vagina or a little bitch that you would be so afraid that you would jerk your pistol and start going to work. I think you just don't like Peter. Well, and I think, that madam, that you want the, that get back. Uh, you want that get back of him robbing you that one time. I think that you've been holding no, that sir. grudge. You want to shoot his fucking British ass no and grudge, you don't give sir. a shit when, you're, when or where you find him. No, no, no grudge. No, sir, not mm. at all. Uh, even, even, even a bitch can carry a pistol and I feared for my life. I really, I, I truly did. I, I can't be any more honest with you on that. I genuinely thought he was going to get out of that car and rob me. And when he did, he, he talked about, I heard money and then I, he went and ducked behind the car and went for a gun. That's when I went around the car and told him to put his hands up and he did not. Mm-hmm. And then Langley screeched up. You saw her coming. You didn't want to get caught in that stone. So you book ass out of there. I did not want to get caught in the stolen car. That's correct, sir. How long have you been That's running dope I before thought. that? I'm sorry? I said, how long were you running dope before that? David Ocean, this Paul Edward, dope. A and grocery and Davis is we, a David Ocean. Stickiest of the Paul, icky. What? Jazz cabbage. Dope? The what? devil's what? lettuce. Five, three, no. Six, what the know. fuck? No. Cocaine is speed. I'm confused. Dope is you heroin. Marijuana is weed. Listen, madam, you're confusing yourself. The no. point is, how long were you trafficking illegal drugs before this little encounter had happened? How, do you, how many runs have you made? One, two, I was, three, I have not made, five, I have not trafficked 65. Drugs. I do not have the connections. You absolutely no, were. You absolutely were, madam. There is no fucking doubt in my mind. Just so you were aware, we've already talked to Mr. Ross and Carrot Top Jr., and they already told us everything about why they were up there and why you were up there. You think you only see each other at the casino at the very end, miss? Saw your ass all over the fucking county doing that shit. It's hard to miss in a black Porsche. Now, do you want an extra charge for obstruction? Or do you want to come clean about that shit? <laughs> Chad. No, sir, I was not running any uh, David, uh, Charlie, Edward. David Ocean, uh, Paul Edward, for crying out loud. David, David Charles Edward David don't make any Ocean, sense at all. Paul I'm sorry. David, David Ocean, Ocean Paul Edward. David Ocean Paul Edward. There was not David Ocean, Paul David Ocean Paul Edward. I wouldn't have. I don't. I, don't, I mean, I don't think I'm stupid. I don't think I would have turned. Well, you're lucky that, that, that we have other pressing issues, Miss Webb. Otherwise, I would stay here and work you till you cracked. Because I definitely know now, you were, I, and you were making up a lie. And that's okay. All that means, Miss Webb. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Did you see oh, that shit? You see that? Just kick the gun across the floor. It's a huh? goddamn spider the size of a fucking bird. Sorry, spiders bother right. me. That's the kind of Good wrap up a baby it. in a web at a hospital and run off with it. Ain't nobody see it again. Right. Hmm. Whatever. I just protected the shit out of y'all. Hopefully the metal's in the mail. You under arrest for uh, thank you operation or excuse me possession of a stolen vehicle fleeing and eluding failure to obey a lawful command. Can I, uh, is it okay if I keep talking with you here? Is that oh, yeah, concrete? you can keep talking all you want. You've been Miranda. I was talk, talk, talk. I did, I did turn myself in up there. Yes, you did. I waited a good, so I'm going good to, long time. Uh, I'm going to waive the fine, account? and I will take into account the time that you waited, madam, as time in custody, okay? I think that's fair. Thank you. Also, bad news, because okay. you lied about the dope, you will not be running any more dope while I'm on shift. If I catch you doing that... I'm going to fuck your shit up, Miss Webb. All right? I mean, I'm talking max charges I, on everything I can fucking find. I would never. And heaven forbid, never if you that, try to right? run, if you try to run from me, Miss Webb, I will catch you and charge you with every fucking traffic violation you make. In fact, I'll probably follow you for at least a good five minutes to let you rack them up before I pitch your ass and drag you out. Now, do you have anything sharp on you, madam? Any uncapped needles, perhaps? Razor blades, ninja stars? Knives, anything like that. I have a pen in the back, my back left pocket, and I have a notebook in my uh, my coat here on the right hand side. I dropped the firearm upstairs that's next to the desk. In fact, I think you kicked it 
I okay. should have some food around. I have a debit card in my front pocket as well as my mobile Langley, phone. will you will you tell that I've pilot some... to cycle his uniform for fuck's sake? It's scaring the shit out of yeah, him. Yeah, I think he... I know, Ten I four, think sir. Do that now. Oh. Okay. Ten four. Thank you, rookie. Wait, what the fuck? Daz. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. It's okay. I have cigarettes on the left-hand side and the inside of the coat, and I have a radio around my belt. Right okay, I'll tell you what, I'll let you keep the cigarettes so you can trade them for favors in jail. The rest of that shit's gonna belong to me. Can I be unhandcuffed in the cell? My hands are hurting. Yeah, you could, but I don't do that. I don't know why everybody else is soft as fuck and be unhandcuffing people. I don't care if your hands are hurting. Stop stealing cars and running from the police. Probably Sorry, people. it's just real talk. Okay, uh, we're going to give you a break for the honesty and turn yourself in, Miss Webb. But uh, hopefully you've learned, madam, that attempted homicide, fleeing and eluding, failure to obey a lawful order, all that other stuff is bad, okay? Has that message been received? Yes, sir. Okay, fantastic. Loud and clear. Uh, Ocean Edward David Charlie. What the fuck, chat? What the fuck, Miss Webb? Ocean Edward David Charlie. Fuck Sorry, you wait, talking wait, about? Sorry, wait, 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 wait. It's, 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 hold on. Charlie Langley what Edward. What the fuck? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Adam. Stop Dang what you're Langley. doing. Stop what you're doing. <laughs> just write this down. You got, you said you have a notebook. When you get up to jail, you write this I'm down. Trying, I'm trying to if I clear, catch you, sir, listen to me, trying. you blue hair. If I catch your ass in a stolen car running dope again, I'm going to put my boy Ocean Ocean Tom up your Adam Sam Sam. You got me? I'd love to catch you fucking around again, playing games with you. <laughs> got him, chat. Yes, sir. Uh, loud and, and uh, clear. That's another felony in the book. It's another felony in the book for my warriors. Eli Army, boy, we out here. We out here. All right, Miss Webb, let's get you on your way up to the booty house, madam. County Dispatch 309, requesting an immediate 1091 transport to Bolinbrook State Prison for a number two female, five foot eight, hundred pounds. Gray jacket, five blue top. Seven foot five. It's a disgusting Amazon woman. Looks like the uh, the skeleton from fucking Nightmare Before Christmas. She got ripped up gray <laughs> pants, black boots, blue headed. Mission Rose Cell One. Later on, gangly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later on, y'all. Going back in service. We didn't give, we didn't give her anything for the robbery and. Well, because we can't fucking prove the robbery, she's saying that, that Ross pulled up and, and threatened her. Now, Ross has violent felonies, and he also does have a prior conviction for aggravated armed robbery against her. She probably pulled the pistol yeah. as soon as she saw it was Ross and went to work. But either way, that maybe is in the gray area. We could have charged her, but the, I didn't like it. There wasn't PC there, especially with her saying that. Yeah. But the other shit, there was no doubt. That shit's open and fucking closed. So she knows that shit was illegal. Plus, we got her on the stolen car, which was nice. Close the bolo as well, so I'll mark that bolo as fulfilled. That uh, 1418 bolo. And then uh, we we got the felony charges on her and the two misdemeanor charges. Not bad. Awesome. Sounds sound good. Not bad. That's a really uh, like, So we're up to four yeah. felony charges, Chad. Um, I was going to ask. And, the, and two uh, misdemeanor what's the garage charges. input number for the interceptor? Not too bad. This one? Three. Ain't got no warrants yet. Three? Ten four. No yeah. dope. We only have one stolen library, recovery. Is seven, well, two five. technically counting that. Five. Counting the Porsche, we got two. Mm -hmm. Not bad for the start of a shift. Not bad for the start of the shift, chat. I'll tell you that right now. Credit for that apprehension goes to the Eli Army. Fuck the world. Love my people. That one goes out to y'all. Work that blue-headed old girl. We beat her like a Cherokee war drum. <laughs> gotcha, Miss Webb. When going against the interrogation against me, girl, you're going to get ground into dust. I grind your bones to make my bread. Fee fi fo fucking fun, boy. Oh, County Dispatch 309 is going to be back in service. Uh -huh. 
Somebody in the chat said, can we make cupcakes instead of bread? Fuck yeah. All I'll do is provide the bone dust and put that back in the kitchen with the vegetarian options to sit. Tim Act, he goes, I would have got out of that shit. My ass. My ass. Tim's good. Tim knows the system. You got to watch Tim. See, so does Katie, though. You got to give Katie, Katie credit. Her inserting that phrase, and I was immediately afraid for my life, and then citing the past offenses. She knows that I know about that shit. She knows that I know about that. So her saying that shit is, uh, was smart as fuck. Everybody's spamming Pei Lang. The fuck you think I'm on my way to do? I'm not going to stop the actual police service to stop and pay a known felon for a fucking tip. He'll get paid when he gets paid. Stop that spamming of the Pei Lang shit. I fucking know that. That other smartass who put in Lei Pang. I see you over there switching the letters and shit too. I'm going to fucking pay him. My mods are watching. You know what? Everybody who spams Pei Lang again after this as I'm pulling into the bank, I'm going to knock $1,000 off of it until he gets fucking zero. Leave him the fuck alone. Let him earn his legitimate ass money. All y'all are doing is buying him additional prison time. And anybody who thinks I would actually knock off $1,000 for anything anybody did in chat is fucking ridiculous. Easy, We're out here providing the police service. That's it. Let's go get him his money. Stop spamming Pei Lang, you fucking buttholes. I'm gonna pay him. The fuck do you think I'm doing? Look at this guy. That one guy that was a fucking the wall of Pei Langs. Somebody slipped in a gay lang in there. Fucking shame on you. Thought he'd slip it in there. He's like, the chat's moving too fast. He won't see it. I see everything. I see everything. Yeah, see, all you're doing is baiting the mods. That's all you're doing. You're getting them all excited. That's what you're up to. You, you, you're baiting the mods. You're tempting a great white. You're putting blood in the fucking water. That's what you're doing. Don't you, don't you come crying and whining when they get you, too. Ain't no cure for a shark bite. That's it. You're calling down the fucking thunder. <laughs> now the gay pang start. See what I'm saying? I was talking to I was talking to somebody earlier, and I was like, "There's no way to interpret like these motherfuckers are smart as fuck." See, I give y'all I'll give y'all credit, chat. I give y'all credit. I always call y'all the MVPs, the champions. Obviously, the Eli Army. That's my warriors right there. That's a whole nother level. But I give y'all credit, man. I give y'all credit. That's some smart motherfuckers in the chat. On their on the fly, on their feet. They're like, you know what? He said don't put Pei Lang, so I'm going to put Gay Lang or Lang Pang and other fucking shit. Like, go ahead, man. Good on y'all. Oh, well, hello. Excuse me. I apologize. By the day. We are running the fucking shit out of that plate. Boy, boy, Union 279. That fucking guy. Let's see here. Where Lang Buddha at? Where's my boy Lang Buddha? I'll give him a little bit extra too. Because uh, I think it was Peter that went and told him we were looking for that boy. So he, that if he does share it, hopefully he fucking shares it. He should share it. But uh, if he does share it, then uh, I think that'll make everybody square. But uh, yeah, state police does pay 10k for felony arrest. If you got a tip that leads to a, a felony arrest... That's 10K in the books, and he doesn't have to worry about that money. I think that's Peter Ross's fucking car right there. Actually, I'm pretty positive that is. That might be his shit. We'll snag the plate off in our stalker unit right quick. No, it is not. Swing and a fucking miss. Although he did have an orange uh, buffalo, or a buffalo painted that fucking color a couple days back. I have it in my notebook. Let's run that plate. Boy, boy, Union, 279. Holy shit. Color, color me shocked. The fucking car ain't stole. I guess he's making plenty of money off of those fucking armed robbers he thinks we don't know about. Let's check his goofy ass for warrants. Ah, shit. Well, he caught a Paul Henry tag sometime in the last three days. Hmm. That's interesting. That is some interesting shit. Mr. Gallenhart's been up up to no good, y'all. Mr. Gallenhart has been up to no fucking good. Garon fucking teed. I wonder when he caught that fucking Paul Henry flag. I wonder what he did to catch that shit. 
Gare on fucking teed. I wonder, I wonder, wonder what he did. Oh, oh so he got the sound on. Trying to look at the chat. Trying to get the chat managed. Doubled up on myself. You're lucky I didn't pass out from orgasmic joy, Chad. I'll tell you that right now. I heard the sound of my own voice. Got me fired the fuck up. I saw that shit on somebody's comments on a, on a YouTube video once. He just likes the sound of his own voice. Guilty as charged, fuck say. <laughs> like, guilty as charged. I do. It's fucking melodious. It has the, the ring of Texan fucking freedom, of course. I can listen to myself all fucking day long. Just so happens that you have to listen to me if you're committing crimes and shit. You sign up for that fucking shit. So go fuck yourself if you can leave a comment like that. I bet your voice sounds like a baby bird asking for food. Like, squeak, squeak, peep, peep, peep. Fuck you, dude. The only, point, the only person who can criticize my voice is Morgan fucking Freeman. That's it. That's it. Morgan Freeman can call me up and tell me and be like, hey, not a huge fan. I'd listen to that shit. That shit I'd listen to. Other than Morgan Freeman, you could kiss my ass. Both cheeks in the hole. What the fuck is this? William Ocean Frank 964. Let's see who's driving that jalopy around. I think it's beat to fuck. I did not see if it had uh, rear brake lights and uh, turn signals, too. I don't even know if that damn thing's word road legal. Rat loader, Jack Wolf. What the fuck is that? Son of a bitch. Hmm. I'll tell you what, we'll go down and we'll make the block. We'll push down Calais, check that gas station, those other ones. We haven't been down there in a hot minute. Yeah, somebody in there said Granny's voice. I know, right? The person who plays Granny is uh, is Disby Arix, and she is fucking awesome. You talk about voice work and shit? Next level shit. Next level shit. It said, Zodiac Wally. Sir, can I ask you how old you are and receive an answer from you? Well, you gonna send me a, a box full of cash on my birthday? Hmm? Is that what that's for? I ain't old as fuck, I'll tell you that. If that's what you're worried about. If you're worried I'm going to keel over anytime soon before I can lead the Eli army to greatness, don't worry about that neither. People in my family live old, like we live long fucking time, especially the meaner they are. The meaner they are. I had a grandma le lived till she was 117 years old. Crazy as fuck and meaner than a shithouse rat, like full on. I know some of y'all like, it's supposed to be crazier than a shithouse rat, but I already addressed the crazy. Okay? Shithouse rats are also mean because they're crazy. Okay? So don't judge me about that shit. Anyway, lived way longer than she should have because she was mean. She survived only on spite. At that point, she was like so far into the dimension and the craziness, she could find anybody to hate. As long as there was an enemy, she'd find another reason to live. Like she just picked something in the room. Fuck you, TV remote. I'm not dying this year because before, before the end of this year, I'm going to break your ass. You know, shit like that. So don't you worry. I'll be around till I'm probably like 175. As y'all can tell, when it comes to making enemies, top tier. Top tier. Top tier. Pick up a little bit of gasoline. Somebody typed, what? Did I stutter? What the fuck you mean, what? I told you the truth. Somebody in somebody in the chat goes, Gaso la 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 boys. <laughs> I'm serious. I hope y'all didn't tell Buddha that shit's funny. Uh, then then everybody in the chat's gonna be hearing la 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 fucking lean boys all day long, no matter what. No matter what we see him doing, we're gonna hear la 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 lean boys in the fucking ear all day. Alright, we're gonna cruise back down here. We're gonna take this uh, so Calais feeds into innocence. We're going to take Innocence down to Carson, Carson to Carson Davis. We're going to check the area around the uh, the car dealership as well as Forum Drive and Grove. So Forum and, Dr and Grove are going to be signal zero areas. Um, just denoted for high levels of gang activity and violence. 
Uh, that area is also known for illegal weapons trafficking, so if we see anything shifted down there, we'll make a stop. Pink in color, 911. It's going to be El Rancho Boulevard, east side for Flat District. Plate, plate, plate. Plate, plate, plate. He's going to be in Orchard Hill Avenue. Oh. We're going to head over there, Chad. He's going to be taking off for me. He's going down the back alley. It's going to be Orchardville Avenue. Cypress Flats District. I got pink Porsche in the plate. Dark in color. 911. Occupy one time to obey. Hey, black helmet. Fucking black helmets. No! Come on! Southbound direction travel with southbound subject flat to hang away. Southbound hangar way, alright. There's not very many places they can go. Southbound ha flats, hangar way. We're gonna sit here right quick. If they try to come back this way, we'll be in a really good spot. We'll be in a really fucking good spot. 309 is going to be a popular in El, uh, El Rancho in case they try to come back up here and hit uh, hit El Rancho to go back into the car scenario. 10-4, I had the subject vehicle with his trunk open by a well. while. Okay. I didn't How hear you say uh, ran multiple government properties to get through and get away from it. Okay, so we're ah. looking for a suspect on foot. Air 1 from 309 direct. Be advised, Air One went ten seven. Fuck. Thirty mics ago. Ten four. Well, I didn't hear that shit, Chad. I didn't hear that shit on the radio. Uh, I'm gonna turn the overheads off. We're just gonna kind of cruise a little bit. Cruise the neighborhood. I'll tell you what, though, we're gonna have we're gonna have the heavy hitter. Our is gonna be heading uh, northbound, trying to locate eyes. As he had nowhere else to go southbound. Ten four. Do you have a suspect description? It's gonna be, I believe, a male. Gonna be completely black clothing, at least the upper half, and a black helmet. Solid cop. Well, we just look for a guy that looks like a fucking urban ninja. That's that's who we look for. I guess he thinks he's gonna blend in in his all black military clothes and a fucking motorcycle helmet when it's like a hundred fucking degrees outside. Smooth move. Dispatch Robert thirteen, show me ten eight. Temple, fifteen thirty-eight. Yeah, somebody goes, What what you just say? I said ninja. Nora Ida Nora John Adam. You know, ninjas, they wear all black suits. Don't be foolish in here, chat. Alright? Don't be fucking foolish in here. You wanna make a joke, make it a fucking good one. You know what I mean? Like don't come in here with mid tier or even heaven forbid, you come in here with low level jokes, you're gonna get strung the fuck up. Guaranteed. Garen fucking T. The people in the chat are gonna nail you down. Come in here with high level, high tier stuff. High tier. Okay, so we got somebody fleeing on foot over here. In my mind, if they're going S Hangar Street southbound, see, he's saying that he doesn't think they would hit the water. I think they probably would. I think they probably would do that. Because from there, what do you got? Maybe a 10 yard swim to the other side? Maybe. And if they can get to Grove Street, they'll be good to go. They can pick up another stolen car for shit, $100. I don't think we're going to stay in this area, chat. I don't think we're going to do that. We're not going to stay in this area. I think that person's gone. I think that person's gone. Without a dog or the, or the helicopter, uh, I mean, it's not like we're going to find the some bitch running down the street. I think they probably hit the water. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why Dokes is so confident that they did not hit the water. 
If that was me, I would have swam for it. Don't you do that. What the fuck? If that was me, I would have swam for it. For sure. For sure. Especially if Dokes is right behind me. You got a police car right behind, behind you. You got water in front of you. You're going to hit that water. To me, that's just natural. That's naturally what the human mind would think. Like, fuck that. I'm going to hit the water. Water's the natural enemy of the of the police car. Why wouldn't you go in the water? I'm going to be issuing a bolo. It's going to be a black in color, possibly pearlescent pink. Uh, Alright, Chad. We got, another, we got another fucking bolo coming through. One time, the male... Possibly a male with a black helmet, black upper torso. Okay, y'all remember that. Remember, we caught old Bluehead off of Bolo. It's 1540. 10 4. Time step on the Bolo. It's going to be 1540. County dispatch direct. So, uh, pinkish. A darkish. Darkish pink. Can you 1025 me? Uh. Sure, Porsche. Boulevard the fuck is up with the Porsches today, by the way? They, somebody must have done some serious work. Got the Porsche levels up high. So we'll do pink or purple, I think. I think he couldn't really tell by the color. Uh, if y'all seen Miss Stone's... <coughs> excuse me. Y'all seen Miss Stone's Porsche? That's probably what the color he's talking about. I think that's the color he's talking about. He's talking about a pink with a... Like a back color or an overcoat color. Oh, we got a 911 call coming in. We will answer that. Any available unit in the area of Vespucci Boulevard and Elgin Avenue in the Pillbox Hill District, respond to a 911 call reference unknown trouble. RP is going to be a Jack Wolf. Spelling of the first can be Common Jack. Spelling of the last can be William Ocean Lincoln Frank Edward. Units to handle identifying. Respond code 2. Robert 13. Robert 13 adding you to the car. She responding 1541. Okay, we're going to also push to that. Uh, Vespucci Elgin is going to be in the area right near the bank. Robert 13 is going to be 1023 Pillbox Bank. Robert 13 from County Dispatch, 1043, reference to 1017, is going to be reporting a, an assault near the bank area. Uh, RP is going to be saying that he was attacked over in that area. Timestamp and that additional information is going to be for, uh, 1541. What the hell? My air horns broke. Adam 3 to Adam 5 direct. God damn it, 5. Can you assist Robert 13? Okay, there we go. I was about to say, I was about, thank God I held that. I was about to motherfuck those boys and they actually didn't do anything wrong. County Dispatch 309 is going to be 23. Oh shit, did Robert 13? Alright, no, I got you not. there, sir. Uh, just hold on one moment. Oh no, he is, roll. he's pushing uh, his own whip. Get some EMS over here to help you out. Just Look at that, that's Officer Dazzler for y'all don't know, uh, don't yeah. know Thadrius, he's awesome. Thadrius is the fucking man. Uh, can you uh, can you he, uh, he's, he's graduated from pushing the boob cue to pushing his own sled. He's pushing his own sled. Good on him. All right, sir, just hang tight. They're going to be on their way, all right? Try not to move too much, you know, just just hang tight, all right? Yeah. All right. So you were saying you were you were assaulted. Did you uh, did you catch a good ID on the uh, the person that did it? You know, what I'm, he was I'm wearing, thinking that locals like, might have beat his a, ass. Yeah, yeah. He seemed like he didn't have much behind the eyes, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but, see, uh, he was wearing uh, it looked like a dark dark suit, uh, <laughs> had some sort shit. of a goatee, bug eyes, pointy nose, and like a weird high high head. County uh, dispatch from 309. I'm gonna be clearing this call. You know? The uh, assailant's gonna be Adam Ida in the bank. All right, sir. What happened here? Yeah, see, I knew that. Based based on the spot where he's at, I mean, it's one or two things. Either somebody comes up from behind him and jackknifes him. We're turning around on that car. I don't know if y'all heard, but I heard the sound of bumper-to-bumper -bumper contact. David Boy Young, 633. Just bought your grandma a new car, man. We've already broke it. Okay, it's not going to return. County dispatch from 309 traffic. It's going to be on a late model uh, light blue Cadillac. Plate's going to be David Boy Young, 633. David Boy Young, 633. Plate's going to return as a not on file. Vehicle's going to be damaged from what looks like multiple motor vehicle collisions. It's going to be the intersection of Elgin Avenue, Vespucci Boulevard. Gonna attempt to initiate a stop, uh, Vespucci in the Strawberry Boulevard area. Come on, this fucking red light is so fucking long, man. I think you should pull around this car, there's no one in it.
Yeah. Don't mind the tattoo on the back there. That was a... County dispatch from 309. Final location of the stop is going to be Strawberry Avenue. Nearest cross is going to be Vespucci Boulevard. Going to be out with two. Request one additional. County dispatch 309, show me out traffic. Place going to be David Boy Young, 633. It's going to be an early model Cadillac occupied twice. So Strawberry Boulevard, nearest cross is going to be Vespucci Boulevard. I'm going to try it one more time to make sure I didn't fuck it up. Tim Foy, uh, Adam 10, adding you to the card. Okay, so it's definitely not returning. Again, doesn't mean anything yet. There's all kinds of uh, trust, man. Things we need to do. Got this. Um, to make sure that that um, to make sure that plate is is not returning again. We tried it twice in our MDT. Uh, when that second unit gets here, we'll have them try it just to make sure that the computer doesn't have a problem, and then we'll narrow it down to either the DMV, the dealership, uh, or some other kind of uh, of issue. But we don't want to hop out. You know, sometimes people will hop out, and they really shouldn't. We train them not to. They hop out, like, you know, with the street sweeper or whatever else it is because the plate's not returning. That's, you shouldn't be doing that. Because if, it, if, it, if it's not their fault, you're dealing with something like a Class 6 misdemeanor. I mean, it's, it's nothing. It's, it's traffic. Failure to display a proper state registration. That's it. So, Mihai 10200 as the resident sleeper. Well, fuck you, Mihai. I'm not going to rush into bad police work because you're bored. Shit, man. Okay, you the can get the fuck on arrived. somewhere else where the, the action is constant. Perhaps a you know an invigorating card game or some shit. Fuck. Just fucking trash bag. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. How you doing, Trooper Thompson with the San Andreas State Police? I only assume that Mr. Buddha and the monkey helmet. We get your license, your registration, your proof of insurance, please, sir. Of course, of course, man. All right, Mr. Buddha, reason for the stop, sir, is going to be the back windows as well as the two satellite windows in the back portion of the car here are going to be busted out, sir, in addition to some minor front end damage where you struck that white van. Okay, I happen to be taking that turn, heard the collision from inside my vehicle. In addition, your plate on this vehicle is going to be returned as a not on file. Okay? So those are going to be the reasons for the stop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't you fucking mm -hmm me, Mr. Buddha. Bring that hand free direct. Send it. That vehicle is going to be on the scene where another abandoned vehicle was with Reginald Buddha wow. and uh, Mr. Gibb. Then they left the scene fairly quickly after. Tenfold. Dispatch Robert 13, show me 10 8. That's fucking dope. 10 4 15 No doubt. Okay, they're not gonna have any other warrants. They have every caution code we could possibly give. The whole PD for the fucking traffic stop, man. This is amazing. I tell you what, Mr. <laughs> Buddha, why don't you leave the police work to me, sir? And I'll leave the scumbaggery and the robbing and the thieving and the dope running and the bank robbing to you. Why don't you step out? Smart ass. You're about to catch a warning until you open your mouth. Face the vehicle. Put your hands behind your back, palms together. Mr. Ross, you step out and you head over to Langley right now. For what, man? Because I fucking told you to, that's why. Now go over there, Mr. Ross. Go over to Langley. Over by the building. Go over by the building. Go put your hands in the wall for me. Alright, you're not under arrest, Mr. Buddha, but you are being detained, sir. Again, we're uh, conducting an investigation now about why this plate is not returning and the fact that you felt like you're being mouthy, you want to try to rush along the stop, makes me feel like you are being anxious. That's why you are in handcuffs, sir. All right, Mr. Buddha, can you hear me from there, sir? Uh-huh. Mr. Buddha, do not say fucking uh-huh to me. Mr. Buddha, can you hear me I mean, from yes, there, sir? sir? Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Stop yes, sir. fucking yes, around. Yes, sir. Mr. Buddha, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you at no cost by the state. You have the right to have your attorney present while you're being questioned. You have the right to invoke these rights at any point in time. Do you understand your rights, sir? Of course I do. When did you buy this car, Mr. Buddha? Is this a recent purchase? Uh-huh. I bought a f***ing grandma, you know? She 
the new car she's tired of the minivan. Okay, so that pink minivan, your grandma's tired of that, she wanted a new car, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. So me and uh, Peter, you know, with the money that you gave us, you know, we went over to the dealership, we got some new cars, and this one looks sexy and beautiful, you know, so we bought it for her, man. Okay, fair enough. I could see a grandma driving this. Where did you buy it at, sir? Ah, uh, the dealership downtown? Near the clothing store? What's the address? Oh, on Dav Davis. Uh, is your name Mr. Lang fucking Buddha, Mr. Ross? Is that what it is? Were you confused about your own fucking name, sir? No, sir. Well, if I want to ask you a question, you'll know because I'll say Mr. Ross or Mr. Peter Ross. You'll know I'm talking to Y.O. fucking you. Again, the fact that you're answering questions for him, Mr. Ross, makes me very fucking suspicious given y'all's previous record. Now, Mr. Buddha, and only Mr. Buddha, do you have an address for the dealership, sir? Ah, uh, it's on, no, not sure, man. I, I don't pay attention nope, to the road names. No, not names, sure, you know? man. I don't pay attention to the road names, man. Sir, no, sir. Sorry. Hmm. It's the one that tiny, the clothing store, you know, in the repair shop. Okay, how much you pay for it, man? Eight grand. Paid eight thousand dollars, huh? How long did you spend at the dealership, uh -huh. Mr. Buddha? Okay, so now what we're doing, uh, chat, is we're asking him what are called uh, 20, 30 minutes, give or take. So I'm getting him into a rhythm of answering questions that are easy for him that he doesn't have to lie, okay? What what direction did you take to get there? Did you come down Carson or you go down Davis? Easy questions don't have shit to do with his guilt or his innocence. So uh, we want to get him into I a went rhythm. Down Davis, I believe. Because his anxiety is already high. We want to get him into a rhythm of feeling comfortable before we ask anything incriminating. Okay, and where does your grandma stay at, Mr. Buddha? Would she live off Forum still? Ah, uh, she lives on Grove Street. Oh, okay, Roger, she lives off Grove Street. What's her address off Grove? Ah, uh, it's 46 Grove Street Avenue. Okay, and what's the deal with the, the van? I know you didn't get rid of it. Is it just busted up? Ah, uh, you know, she she hits the money rims that I put on the van, you know, so I'm gonna keep it for myself and I was gonna buy her a new car, you know? Mm-hmm, I actually do, sir. What you're saying is making a lot of sense. Uh, do you remember the guy who bought the car, uh, that you bought the car from at the dealership, sir? Ah, uh, yes, I do. He's actually a very nice guy, you know? Okay, what's his name? His, his name is, uh, Jorge. Okay, Jorge Comics. Jorge Malone. Jorge Balone? No, Malone, man. Malone. M E L O N. Jorge Big Bone? What are you saying, man? I can't hear you through that fucking uh, motorcycle helmet. I'm saying Jorge, Jorge Malone. M L M E L O N. Melon? That's how you say Melon is Malone? Ah, Malone, uh huh? Yes, sir. Mary yes, Edward sir? Lincoln Ocean Nora, Malone. Yes, sir. Okay. Fair enough, Mr. Buddha. All right, I'll tell you what. There's a lot of different reasons why a tag might re not return, Mr. Buddha. I did run it through my computer twice. It may be an issue with my MDT, so I'm going to have Langley run the tag as well. All right? Once she's run it through there and it don't return, we're going to have somebody at County Dispatch run it. If it still don't return, what we're going to do is we're going to send a unit down to the car dealership. We're going to locate Mr. Malone, and we're going to check the dealership's paperwork. If it's a problem with the dealership paperwork, then we're going to charge them. Because that's the state law. they got to send that electronic over to the DMV when a purchase is made. Okay, if it turns out their paperwork is good, then we're going to check at the DMV. Okay, and if the DMV paperwork is good, then the problem comes back to why oh fucking you, sir. All right, and because you've been so helpful, you're going to stand right here in handcuffs until we've completed all those investigatory steps. Okay? So mm, hopefully when, okay, I get back, okay. when I get back to my car over there... When I type in Jorge Malone into the system, it'll pop right up real quick, so that way we won't have to wait uh, very long, okay? Which I have no doubt it will do. Oh, no doubt, no doubt, you know? 167% rehabilitated now. Yeah, we should find out. If not, it's going to be 100% some obstruction of justice fucking charges, for sure. <laughs> hmm, okay, okay. Oh, is not <laughs> Somebody nice put in, Lane all, didn't man. do nothing. Yeah, my ass. We'll find out. Is it return for you? Cheap. No. Then come yeah, back to okay, me. Okay, I didn't think so. All right, hold on. I'm gonna try it one more time, and then uh, I'm gonna copy the VIN plate and run the VIN.
Okay, so we're going to snag the VIN. We already got one off the front. We're going to grab the, the one off the back. We're going to run it uh, so we make sure we got the VIN right. <clears throat> Everybody nice was kung fu fighting. Shut the fuck up up there! We're going to request a VIN plate check match. Uh, should come back to a late model blue Cadillac. VIN's going to be 2-4 boy, Ida King Charles, William Frank, 662. Correction, 2-4 boy, Ida King Charles, William Frank, 662, King Tom Ida. Going to be 894 on the back end. Now we're going to have to do something else to get money for your grand's new car. Like, if this doesn't check out. No, Jorge Malone is solid, man. 10 10, you know, he's going to check out. I have faith. Okay, so the VIN's going to return as a confirmed stolen. What we'll do is we'll uh, we'll run the name Jorge Malone as well in our MDT unit and see if we can get a return. If we can, then we'll go after Mr. Malone. Dispatch, I'm free. Hold me out traffic. It's going to be northbound, Owl Street, Adams Apple, nearest cross. Ten four, simply when ready. No, no, uh, no hits for Jorge Malone. Tango, golf. Weird. Six, three, nine. Ten four, hold you out with that vehicle. Ida Tom George, six three nine. Ida Tom George, six three nine. Time seems gonna be fifteen fifty seven. All right, Mr. Boot, I want you to use your inside voice, sir. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Lang. Uh, Mr. Lang, Buddha, so the, this vehicle is not returning. The plate is not returning no matter how many times we run it. I grabbed two VINs off the vehicle. Both are coming back to a confirmed stolen vehicle out of the Davis area. Okay? The name you gave me, Jorge Malone, does not return in any of the city, the county, or the, st or the state databases, sir. All right. Now, God, fuck. Are you yeah, serious? oh, fuck is right. Now, did you know this was a stolen car, Mr. Lang? Mr. Lang Buddha, do you know this was a stolen car? Is this a stolen vehicle, sir? I mean, if I don't know, is this a stolen vehicle, sir? This is a simple you know? fucking question. Is this a stolen vehicle? Yes or fucking no. And you pulled over because you see that I'm not driving the beat ass Crown Victoria today. I'm driving the fucking Interceptor, and you're driving an old beat ass Jalopy. That's why you pulled over. No one's going to give you a fucking medal for having common sense. Now, do you want to fuck around or do you want to get honest? Is this a stolen vehicle, sir? Did you know this was a stolen? I had no idea. Mr. Buddha, you are fucking begging for it. Okay. I mean, I'll be honest, chat. We could run him in on this or, or bother him for a whole lot of time if we really wanted to. But to be fair, this is relatively minor. It ain't going to have shit in it. We're going to search it, though, because at this point, it's a stolen vehicle recovery. Okay, so they don't have any rights to the vehicle. It's going to be a stolen. All right, yo, boys, this is going to be a stolen vehicle. As such, this is now a stolen vehicle recovery. So we're going to search this vehicle. You boys have anything in here you want to tell me about before the searching starts? Ah! Uh, the what was Bag that? Bag of Doritos in the passenger side door. Bag of Doritos, Mr. Ross. Is this a joke to you, sir? Yeah, I'm done. Like... Being in possession of a stolen vehicle is funny, Mr. Ross. You, you asked, you asked if we had any vehicle, sir, and I answered. Call me a liar if you found him and then. You know? All right, he held up pretty well under the, cush the questioning, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to take him for possession. Actually, you know what? We're going to we're cut him loose with a warning, because if this did happen, 
All right, even though he's a known scumbag, he had the information that we needed him to have. Um, so we're going to just cut him lo uh, loose with emotional abuse. Mr. Buddha, can you hear me? Mr. Ross, can you hear me, sir? Yes, sir. Now, you two fucking banana-headed idiots managed to buy a stolen vehicle. Okay? What I'm going to do here <laughs> is give you the benefit of the doubt. You understand? So I'm going to be letting you go, bo both of you go, with a stern fucking warning, gentlemen. Do not return to the same dealer and buy another fucking vehicle again. I catch two of you boys in a vehicle, has a registration, don't fucking return, and a VIN that stole, and you two motherfuckers are going to state prison on a fucking bullet. You understand me? I could easily arrest you right now for tent. possession of a fucking stolen vehicle, Mr. Buddha. You understand that? I understand, sir. I'm gonna buy a car from Jorge Malone. Never again. Jorge Malone doesn't exist, you fucking dickhead. We both know that. Don't go back there. You get me? <laughs> I understand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just before we cut them loose, we don't. We want to make sure they don't have anything nasty on them, like Widowmakers or fucking Italian typewriter, or something really fucking awful. These two dudes would be the ones who'd be carrying it. You are not leaving with that car, so if you thought you were, you're wrong. I put both of you two on foot patrol. Next time, if you get stopped, ah! you better be in a car belongs to Y-O fucking you. Can we get reimbursed? No, you may not. Awesome. You can get the Back fuck out of my sight. You're lucky you're not going to jail. Get the fuck out of here now. Me boys! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Somebody call tow for it, or? Uh, you wanna? I mean, yeah, call tow if we got one on. I'll sit for it, I guess. God damn it! The lock, this fucking door lock shit. All right, we'll call for tow. Dispatch hour three and Robert 13, 10 8 clear. 10 4, show you back in service, 16 4. Well, I'll, I'll let you out of the car from here. I'm gonna go find Dokes and you talk to him. What's well, an Italian typewriter? It's the automatic weapon. So it got that name, like you, basically you, the slang term at least, from the, uh, the 1920s when the Tommy gun. Uh, was very very popular. It was an automatic firearm chambered in 45 caliber. It was a uh, excess from a World War II surplus. It was very easy to acquire, and it was exceedingly popular because you didn't have to be a good shot and you could kill a whole shitload of fucking people. Unfortunately, most of organized crime back in that time was Italians, or at least people thought that it was. So it got that nickname as the Italian typewriter. But it could be almost anything. In this case, what we're talking about is a Tech Nine, which is a nine millimeter handgun. It's an automatic. Normally, it's going to have a 20 to 30 round magazine, uh, very easily concealable, unbelievably dangerous. So there you go. There you go. Did we get a fucking response from the toe? Ain't no toe. The fuck. What in the fuck, chat? I thought she said there was tow. Fuck it. Problem fucking solved. Abraca fucking Dabra. And just so you're aware, magic is real and we have known for some time. Just so you, just in case anybody in the in the chat.